Hello everybody, welcome back, happy Thursday. So today we're making five recipes in one video. I'm so excited for this. I want to cover all my bases and I'm like, you know what? Let's just do all of them. So we are making a bunch of homemade Girl Scout cookies. If you're in Canada and you can't order them online or we also get different flavors in Canada, like things are weird that way. I was like, mom, look at these Samoa cookies. And she's like, what is that? So uh, if you're Canadian and you want to try out those cookies and you can't order them, this video is for you or if you just want to make them yourself and have some fun, this is perfect. Um, on Tuesday I made some Super Bowl recipes and I'll have them linked in the cards right here if you're looking for some football related recipes. They're so cute. I love them so much. But anyways, yes, today we are making, excuse if I pronounced them incorrectly, I've never heard of these before I've like done my research because I'm in Canada. So. Um, bear with me. We are making some trefoils, trefoils? I don't know. Um, but they're basically shortbread. We are making some Samoa cookies, we're making some do -si dos we're making some Thin Mints, and we're making some tag alongs. I'm so excited. These turned out so, so cute, and they're actually really, really easy. So to get started, I'm first going to make a shortbread recipe base because I've realized that shortbread seems to be used in a lot of these. So first I'm going to show you how to make the shortbread and then we're going to go into the individual cookies and um, just use that shortbread base if you need to. So let's get started. Oh, and before I get started, comment down below and tell me what your favorite Girl Soap cookie is. Literally in Canada, I think we only have like chocolate and vanilla sandwich cookies and that's it. So, so different. But even if you're Canadian, let me know which ones you like and um, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to make the shortbread base. This is my favorite, bar none, favorite shortbread recipe ever. Even if you're not making Girl Scout cookies, um, just make the shortbread recipe. It's so, so addictive. So first you want to beat some butter with an electric mixer until it's pale and fluffy. Add the confectioner's sugar and beat for two minutes or until it's well combined. Add some vanilla extract and combine. In a separate bowl, Find some flour and salt. Add the butter mixture and mix until the dough sticks together when pinched. Then shape this into a ball, wrap in plastic wrap, and chill in the fridge until it's firm for about one hour. So this is a shortbread cookie dough, so we are going to set this aside, and now we're going to start on the individual cookies. So first we're going to do the trefoils, trefoils. But they're basically just shortbread cookies, so we are going to use this dough that we just made and move on from there. So you want to roll the dough out on a floured surface until it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Use a circular two inch round cookie cutter to cut out the rounds. Then place them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Bake at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 13 to 15 minutes. Cool on the pan for 15 minutes, then transfer to a wire rack and cool completely, and you are done. Okay, so now we are on to the homemade Thin Mints recipe, which are basically chocolate mint cookies covered in a delicious chocolate coating. So, what you need to do is, beat the butter and sugar with an electric mixer until it's light and fluffy. Add an egg, vanilla extract, and peppermint extract, and mix well. In a separate bowl, combine the flour, cocoa powder, baking powder, and salt. Add this to the butter mixture and mix until just combined. Divide the dough into two balls and roll each ball out between two sheets of parchment paper. Roll them out until they're about a quarter of an inch thick. Place the cookie dough into the fridge for one hour to chill. Use a two inch round cookie cutter to cut out rounds of the dough. Place them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and poke five holes in each cookie with a skewer. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for eight minutes, then cool in the pan for five minutes and transfer to a wire rack and cool completely. Using a fork, dip the cookies into the semi-sweet chocolate. Allow the excess to drip off the bottom of the cookies, and then place them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Place the cookies in the fridge for 30 minutes to chill, and you are done! So next we are making our homemade tag along, and these are basically shortbread cookies topped with a lovely delicious peanut butter mixture and then the whole cookie is dunked in chocolate. So I mean like yes, I understand why these are so popular because it sounds amazing. So let's get started. So you want to use that shortbread dough that we made earlier and roll it out on a floured surface until it's a quarter of an inch thick. Use a circular two inch round cookie cutter to cut out rounds. Press down in the center of the cookies to create a slight indentation. This is going to help the peanut butter just stay put a little bit better. And if you hear that little like noise in the background, that is Paddington. Bake at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 13 to 15 minutes. 
So to make the peanut butter topping, beat the peanut butter and confectioner's sugar with an electric mixer until smooth. Place into a piping bag fitted with a large round piping tip. Pipe some peanut butter on top of each cookie, trying to maintain a flat, smooth surface. Then chill the cookies in the fridge for 30 minutes. Dip the cookies in the melted chocolate using a fork and allow the excess chocolate to drip off the cookies. Transfer them to a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and then pop them into the fridge for 10 minutes or until the chocolate has set and you are done! Okay, so next are the homemade Samoa cookies. And I actually made a jumbo version for Tastemade about a year ago and it was good. You could like slice it, so good. Um, but today we're making the actual size ones, the like realistic size ones. <laughs> um, basically these are shortbread and they're topped with a delicious caramel coconut topping. I don't even like coconut in desserts, I only like it in savory things, but this is good. This is like my exception. So if you don't like coconut, I, I like, I, try it, try it, trust me. <laughs> and then the cookie, the bottom of the cookie is dunked in chocolate and there's some chocolate drizzled on top. So, so good. So, let's get started. So you want to take the shortbread that we made earlier and roll it out on a floured surface until it's an eighth of an inch thick. Use a circular two inch round cookie cutter to cut out rounds and then use a circular one inch round cookie cutter or a bottle cap, which is what I'm using, and cut out the centers. Place them on a baking sheet then with parchment paper and then bake them at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 13 to 15 minutes. Then to make the topping, you want to scatter the coconut flakes on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes until they are toasted. And you want to make sure that you stir the coconut every few minutes just to prevent the edges of the coconut from burning. Place some soft caramels, milk, and salt in a pan over low heat. Mix constantly until fully melted. Remove the mixture from the heat and combine about three quarters of the caramel with a toasted coconut in a bowl. Spread the remaining caramel on top of the cookies and then press the coconut mixture on top. Then dip the bottom of the cookies into the melted dark chocolate and place them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Drizzle some more chocolate on top of the cookies and then pop this into the fridge until the chocolate has set for about 30 minutes and you are done! Okay, and last but not least, we are making some homemade dosy doughs, which are basically peanut butter sandwich cookies. I know that my dad is going to be calling me as soon as he sees this video and be like, do you have any wash? Because peanut butter is like his favorite thing. So is Paddington, so Paddington doesn't get any of these because they're not dog friendly. So anyway, let's get started. So first to bake the cookies, beat the butter, peanut butter, granulated sugar, brown sugar, and vanilla extract in a bowl with an electric mixer until smooth. Add the egg and beat until combined. In a separate bowl, combine some oats, flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. Add this to the butter mixture and mix until combined. Roll the dough out into tablespoon sized balls and place them on baking sheets lined with parchment paper. Press down on each ball of dough to create a flat disc. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes or until the edges are golden. Then pipe the filling onto the bottom sides of half the cookies and then place the other cookie halves on top and you are done! So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. If you try out on these cookies, please send me a photo uh, at PankoBunny on Twitter or Instagram and let me know if you like these better or you like them worse <laughs> than um, actual Girl Scout cookies. It would be so cool to know because I can't taste them myself. <laughs> um, or like the, the real ones, I can't buy them myself. But like. Actually, because on in the stage you can order them online this year, so maybe I'll try that. Anyways, put whatever. Um, <laughs> so anyways, I hope that you guys like this recipe. Stay tuned until Sunday for another like non-recipe video. We can just like hang out and chat and do things like that. And I love you guys so much. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and ring that little notification bell down below so that you're notified when my new videos come out. I love you guys so much, and yeah, I will see you on Sunday. Bye.